Chris, oh, sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I was going to say, so Chris had a lot of fun yesterday and a little visit. Yeah, I had a visit at uh, June Buchanan School there. And I tell you what, the kids were great. They knew their weather. They asked a lot of questions. And I actually got to do classes with not only the kindergartners, but mm -hmm. the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth graders. Wow. I actually got to go to the uh, auditorium and uh, give this one there. Let's take over to that photo now because they were a great group of kids, had a lot of good questions, and they were very interested in the weather. And of course, they're going to be learning about the weather and some upcoming studies. So I enjoy my time out there, and I look forward to trying to get back out there and speak to those kids again, especially as they get some of the studies under their belt because then I can come back and give them a good quiz or two and, and really see what they've learned. Now, Forecast-wise, let's get into it because temperatures, that is the talk this morning. Low to mid-60s across Monticello, and then we're seeing those mid-50s from Lexington down to London. Folks there in Mount Vernon, Berea, mid-50s, all the way down to the Kentucky-Tennessee border, even in Middlesbrough right now, checking in at 55 degrees. And even folks across eastern Kentucky there in Jackson and Paintsville checking in, in the upper 50s and lower 60s. Bus stop forecast, of course, that fog's going to clear out. Sun's going to rise. That's going to lead to a partly sunny afternoon, but temperatures warming up. Back to 76 degrees for an afternoon high, so get outside and enjoy it if you can, because really for the first week in November, this is unseasonably warm for this time of the year. Mountain Almanac showing a sunrise at 7.01 this morning. That sunset getting earlier and earlier in time now at 5.32 p.m. Of course, that's the only bad thing about turning back those clocks is getting dark really early. And of course, our days are only going to grow shorter as we head towards the new winter season. Live pinpoint Doppler showing us a clean sweep across all of central and eastern Kentucky. As we zoom things out, we're nice and dry and warm because of this high pressure spinning across Virginia's. That'll eventually weaken out though, and that's going to allow a cold front across the Rockies, eventually make its way across the Central Plains, and then this is going to track into the Ohio and Tennessee Valley regions by late week and into the first part of the weekend. So dealing with warmer weather right now, but things are going to cool off as we head towards your Saturday and Sunday, and we're going to track that with this cold front of this trough that's going to move through across the Central Plains, eventually working across the Great Lakes region, the Ohio and Tennessee Valley regions as well. You can see some of the darker greens, some of the lighter blues, purples, indicating some of that cooler air that's going to move in this weekend. But the good news is it won't stick around for long. We'll eventually moderate temperatures back into the low, even mid 60s towards next midweek, and that's going to be a little bit more seasonable for this time of year. Future view, we start things off at 9 o'clock this morning. Mild temperatures out there, eventually rising into the mid 60s by mid morning. We're climbing all the way up into the mid 70s, but despite a few clouds later on this afternoon. In future view, trying to show a few specks of green here on the radar. Not buying it, folks. High pressure going to continue to dominate the Commonwealth's weather, and that's going to keep some sunshine into the forecast and along with a few fair weather clouds later on this afternoon. Otherwise, those clouds stick around through tonight and into your Thursday. Clouds will increase a little bit more from the west. That's going to be ahead of a cold front, but despite the cloud cover increasing, temperatures still going to warm up into the low to mid 70s, and then a cold front going to begin to take aim at the state Friday morning into Friday afternoon. That's going to push some rainfall across central Kentucky early on, eventually arriving on our doorstep here in eastern Kentucky. That's going to work eastward later on Friday morning into Friday afternoon. We're going to hold on to some of those rain chances into Friday night. 12 hour pointer shows temperatures rising into the mid 70s later on this afternoon. Of course, under a good mix of sun and clouds. Pretty nice and calm evening is ahead of us as well. So try and get out and enjoy that one if you can. And a look at that seven day forecast shows pleasant temperatures through Friday. Some rain chances in the forecast. Showers become likely through Friday afternoon. That'll spill over into the first part of your weekend before we cool things off into the upper 50s Sunday and then low to mid 60s as we head towards next Monday and Tuesday. Let's get that fourth and final check of the refrigerator arc this morning. See what we have behind the magnets. Love showcasing all the wonderful art from the kids here across eastern Kentucky. This is a nice photo sent in from Carly over at May Valley Elementary.